Hello everyone and welcome back to my walkthrough. Hey, wake up Mario! Go to this green star over here. Yeah, we're finally gonna explore that. It is a green launch star which takes us to this planet right here. And uh, what's this pipe in the middle here? I'm just gonna check this out right away. Oh my goodness, it takes us all the way back over here. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what the heck that thing does. Just so you know how to go back. Anyway, uh, this area right here is called the Three Trials, if I'm not mistaken. Because there's three uh, green star areas here. The loop de soup Galaxy, uh, the Bubble Blast Galaxy, and the Rolling something, I think. <laughs> I kind of forgot, actually. But the one that I'm going to be going to right now is the Bubble Blast Galaxy. So let's go to the green launch star and get to it. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this one first is because it'll likely take the longest of the three. This is the Electric Labyrinth. Uh, oh, yeah, those are all electric fences, and uh, that little star platform in the center is where we start from. Uh, we have to collect five pieces of a launch star. You know how that goes if you've played this game before. Well, uh, I'm going to start... Wait, actually, let's read the sign here. It's probably Billboard. Oh, it's Fillboard. Oh, I was close. Uh, yeah, I know how to control a bubble. But uh, on each of these little areas here, um, there is a piece of the launch star. And you have to get to the very end of each of the areas in, <clears throat> in order to collect that star piece. Like this one right here. And there's a launch star coming up right over here. There's one of them. You star it. And then you come back to here. I'm going to go clockwise starting from the top. So this I'm going to label as number two. I'm going to go in this bubble. And I'm going to touch this. Uh, uh, that makes some coins appear. I don't know if I'm... Oh, no, 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 no. If you touch any of those mines or an electric fence, it's over instantly. Because it'll pop your bubble. And you'll fall into that devilishly dark black hole there and oh and this area is very very scary uh, if I'm not mistaken if you make a mistake on these first five pieces here you have to start all the way from the beginning so that's not very fun to do especially with how precise you have to do oh, do the star bits and I'm gonna go around this way because it's safer I don't care about that question mark thingy there Follow the rhythm, follow the rhythm, and there we go. Number four is this one. Woo! And where, oh, the launch star is way back over here, that's right. So I'm going to have to actually go backwards after I start this little trial here. Wait for those things to stop shooting their fire there. And go, 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 go. Stop, 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 stop. Now wait for them to shoot fire again before you go through again. Wait, 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 wait. Go, 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 go! And watch for the electric fences. You can touch these walls without popping your bubble. You just can't touch the electric, and, uh, the electric fences and the uh, mines that are along the way. Or the fire. That, you know, fire is dangerous too. But the uh, fire isn't around as often as the electric fences and the mines. One up. Woo! I'm going to wait for these electric fences and just shimmy along through here. And this one's circular. Uh, careful. I see the piece. Got it. And there is the launch star when I go back to the center. You know what I'm going to be doing over there. <laughs> and... Oh! Yeah. Yoo -hoo! Oh, star bits right there. Beautiful. And launch star over to the second area. This second area is pretty dang evil. Not that planet, this little area right here. Um, I, I would just like to make a note, I'm surprised that the camera is holding up very well in this area. Seriously, it's focusing very well. It might be because the background's kind of bright. Well, anyway, there's homing bullet bills now. You have to race through this area as quick as you possibly can. Um, just avoid the electric fences, these bubbles, uh, not bubbles, these containers or whatever, whatever the heck they are, they just slow you down. Starbits, um, one up for the win. Uh, by the way, that reminds me, I got a letter from Princess Peach, which gave me those, uh, ten lives that you've seen, uh, a little bit earlier. Uh, because I restarted the game since I, oh my god, no, 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 oh, 
no, you don't. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, anyway, I restarted the game since I uh, stopped from the last part. <laughs> this area is very, very scary. I'm surprised I'm doing this well, to be honest. Just keep going. Bullets are everywhere. It's freaking everywhere. Oh, my God. Don't stop me now. Star, star. Yes! I did it on my first try. Holy cow. That one is evil. Okay, the next one I'm going to be doing is this yellow guy up here. This is the Rolling Gizmo Galaxy. That's the name of the one. Now I remember. It was rolling something, but I remembered at least the rolling part there. And this is Gizmo's Gears and Gadgets. Um, you're, you're going to be walking on top of... Hold on a sec, the camera's acting weird. Oh, okay, I think that's fixed now. It looks a lot clearer. So let's get this started. You know how this thing works, right? Yeah. Oh, yes, I am flattening that sign, by the way. And oh, my goodness. Yeah, carefully, carefully, very carefully. Make your way across these thin platforms. This is probably the hardest rolling course in the game. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure I gotta jump. Wait a second, I gotta go. Um. Do I have to go what? What the heck? Uh, could I just go like that? Yeah, I can, but I could have swore I was able to get up there before. Ah, oh, whatever. Oh, I, I'm able to bust through those things if I have enough speed. Now I remember. Okay, that's going to come in handy for uh, for the rest of the level there. And a lot of coins, but I don't like coins. I like star bits. Woo! And uh, that little thingy pops you over to the side, this little round corner there, just to make sure that you don't fly to your death. And I'm going to just hop myself over here, wait for the gear to turn around, and hop myself over to the center. Well, not quite the center. Oh, my goodness. Not the dice. Anything but the dice. Okay. Dice are the bane of my existence. Avoid those bombs at all costs, because when they explode and you touch them, Oh, man, do you fly far? Well, maybe not that far. Oh, oh, a little too far to be very comfortable. Like, you might woo, fly out of control somewhere else, and you don't want that to happen. And holy poopers, I'm going everywhere with this. And Starbats! Okay, wait. Wait there. Wait there. By the way, it's hard to really call that thing a die, because it's, it's only got... Uh, four pips on each side. Woo! In case you didn't uh, know, when you look on the opposite sides of a regular six-sided die and total the numbers up, it, it uh, totals seven, if you didn't know that. Just a little fun fact. Anyway, there's the star! I am doing surprisingly well at these trial galaxies. Alright everyone, the last one I'm going to be doing is the blue one. My favorite color, the loop de soup galaxy. Woohoo! Green launch star, ahoy! And I think this little dot way in the back there is it. So let's get this started. The galaxy's greatest wave. Woohoo! Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, you know what it is. It is a manta ray surfing area, or whatever the heck they call these things in this game. Uh-oh, I bet you they're going to say it's Penguin Par Paradise again, or they're just going to give me a tutorial. I don't know. Yeah, I'm an old pro at race surfing. I will do my best. As a matter of fact, I think there is um, another one. Yeah, this course is a monster, but I think this is the hardest one, but I think there's three of these manta surfing courses, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, though. Anyway, let's go. Woo! You remember how to control, don't you? Oh, by the way, the, this course is a lot thinner, and it's a lot more wavy. So, control is going to be a lot harder, and you've got to beat the best time at the bottom there to get the gold star, I should say the gold trophy, which is the first place star, and which will, I will plop in my collection of stars. Oh my goodness, scary! Holy cow, this is like white water rafting. I think I'm on the Milky Way or something like that. Actually, that's our universe. Come, come to think of it, our galaxy. Pardon me. And, oh boy. So thin. So scary. Don't go too fast. 
just keep a steady pace to the end. Never turn too sharply, otherwise you're gonna go off the edge when you're going at about this speed. And uh, get ready to increase speed here because you're going up a loop. Yes, this is a loop of water. This rocks, this is so awesome. Oh no! Ah! I guess I gotta try it again. <laughs> But yeah, you definitely have to increase speed there, if I'm not mistaken. So let's try it again! I'm feeling lucky this time around, at least I hope. Uh, at least collect this 1-up uh, each round, because, uh, uh, or that 1-up too, because you'll gain 2 lives each time you die, or I should say, before you die. So you'll be, in fact, be gaining lives each time you play this course, uh, or at least in, until you beat this course, so to speak. And... There's some very beautiful red rings over there for some odd reason. I don't know why that they put them there. They just seem to be floating in mid-gravity just like this water here. Maybe this water has got its own gravitational pull. I have no idea. Uh, uh, okay. And maybe these flags do too, but they seem to vanish as soon as you pass them for some reason. I don't know why, but they just do... By the way, the water on this loop is a lot smoother than the rest of the water. Probably so you can keep your keep keep in control. And I almost died the exact same way as I did before, and that would not have been pretty. Oh no 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 no! I don't think so. I don't think so, sucker. And there is the goal at one minute eleven seconds. Woohoo! Give me my prize, swine! Or should I say, foul? Was that a firework? I think that was a firework that I just seen there, but it looked more like a smoke cloud. Backflip! Woo! Stargat! 